Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with Trello Mountain, and today I have a new product from a company that I've reviewed for before. I've tested a few of their products, um, and finally, finally found out how to actually pronounce the product. So, this is the Bushcraft knife. It's the Bushcraft survival knife. From Morikaniv. I always thought it was like Moraniv, more knife. It's Moraniv. Now I know, and I will never pronounce mispronounce it again. So, basically, it's a bushcraft knife. It has your sheath, obviously. It has a belt loop, which is kind of tough, tucked in there. It has a diamond uh, sharpener. It has a fire steel, and uh, the back side of the blade here also has a uh, striker, 90 degree grind for uh, the fire steel. So I'm gonna get this thing unpackaged. I would say unbox, but because it's but it's not a box, so I'm not gonna unbox it. I'm gonna unpackage it, and then show you what it's all about, and show you how sharp it is, and then we'll probably start a fire with it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> fire. Let's see how this thing opens. It's got really nice packaging. I almost don't want to like tear it up, but I'm gonna just cause. There we go. All right, so you got your pretty substantial sized uh, ferrosium rod. The nice little hole right there. And that's gonna go right here on the sheath, just like, just like that. So keeps it nice and tidy. This is your belt loop. I imagine this kind of goes in kind of like like that, yeah. So you have a, a loop like this, and then you also have this other one. So you push this little tab here. It's just because it's so brand new. So you can have that loop or this one, depending on which one you want. And then this kind of goes in and pulls up. So you could have an actual loop that goes through your belt, or you could use this one, which is more of just like a clip, which I kind of like that one a little bit better, I'm not gonna lie. All right, so I got it off of there. It's kind of a pain in the butt to get this thing on and off, just probably because it's brand new, but you have to like push this little tab in right here. So I kind of like, I think I'm gonna use this one instead. And it just kind of locks in place so I can like hang it on a, on a loop instead of just passing it through a belt loop. Nice diamond sharpener right here. It almost feels like uh, like shark skin. It's so nice. And then you got the star of the show, which is right here. Back side here, that's the grind for the fire steel. And this thing is pretty dang sharp. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just shave with it. It's, yeah. That's sharp. Yeah, that's really, really sharp. And this goes right in here, just like that, and locks into place. So that's the whole kit, just like that. It's got Morikaniv on the steel and Morikaniv on the sheath. Made in Sweden. Does say, obviously, it does say made in Sweden, but this is Swedish stainless steel. And I've used Morikaniv's knife before, and um, I have a few of their knives, and I really, really like how they feel. Um, I'm just kind of getting into bushcraft right now, and I'm learning a bunch. You know, not tying bushcraft stuff with, you know, wood, and obviously making all kinds of cool stuff. And it's always, 
hugely beneficial to actually have a good knife that can actually do it. The handle is really, really grippy. It does have this nice little finger notch right here. Um, and also a little bit of knurling on the back here for the thumb. So if you're, you know, that's this hard plastic little kind of butt cap. I wouldn't like hammer with this per se, but I guess you could to a certain degree. I wouldn't hammer anything like hard or anything like that because it would probably break. So it has a 3.2 millimeter blade, but it has a Scandinavian grind on it. And if you look closely, I don't know if you can really see that, but if you look closely, you can see that it's ground this way. And it's, it's not like it flares out, it's ground straight this way. And then you would get your fire steel out, and then you just use the grind right here, or right back here, and throw your sparks. Wow! <laughs> That works really good. Usually you gotta kinda have to like wear in the ferrosium rod a little bit. But this thing, man, this thing went right through it. Just started throwing sparks like crazy. So, well done. Very comfortable in the hand. Just like that. Something you would kinda just keep on your hip. You know, like if I put this on my belt like that, I could get to it if I need to in a hurry. Or, a lot of times what I would do is you could flip it up like this and I would put it on like a shoulder strap so keep it out this way in case I need to get to it in a hurry but well made really nice I like that the fire steel is built in and this is part of the sheath this stays in place fire steel just comes right off and then stores in here nice and easy when not in use so it's all right here you have your diamond sharpener in case you need to get a nice little uh, put a nice little edge back in your blade like when it gets dull but I mean these things are super sharp. I mean, I mean, it just went right through this. And granted, this is cardboard, but I mean, easy work. We have an overall length of this knife is just about nine inches. Total blade length is about four and a quarter inches. Total thickness, roughly about an eighth of an inch. Pretty much right at an eighth of an inch total thickness feels really good in the hand. It's really sticky. I like how sturdy it feels. Ergonomically, it fits well in the hand. I can grip onto it. I don't have to worry about it slipping or anything like that. The ground edge here and here for the uh, fire steel is amazing. The Scandi grind on this thing is razor sharp too. So, well done. If I'm going into the backcountry and I just need a good bushcraft knife, this is probably the knife that I'm going to bring. I'm a big fan of Mora and I love um, how well they put together their their knives and price point is great too so now keep in mind all this stuff right here I've been using it to split wood and kind of carve and stuff like that but this thing is still razor sharp and uh, great little point right there super sharp I like the little thumb notches on the back here it really helps to increase the the grip when you're, especially when you're kind of carving, you're kind of using this as a bushcraft or you're making a, a feather stick or whatever. Alright guys, so that's my review of the Morikaniv Bushcraft Survival Knife. If you guys are just getting into bushcraft or if you're a uh, veteran bushcrafter, this is a solid knife. Um, I grew up around knives my whole life. My father's a knife collector. And this is really, really nice. I, I've, these guys never fail to impress me. They always make a solid, solid piece of gear. 
Is this the lightest knife? No, absolutely not. This thing weighs in, I'll put it on my scale for you guys. With the fire steel and everything, seven and a half ounces. Is it the lightest knife? No. Is it the, um, is it the knife I normally will bring, uh, bring backpacking? No. The knife I normally bring, uh, bring backpacking, I don't know why I can't say that, is this guy. But, size comparison, yeah. Just because this one's super lightweight. However, if I was going to some place where I know I needed a knife or if I wanted to practice bushcraft and I wasn't really caring about, you know, going ultralight, this would be the knife that I would bring. Absolutely. Just because of the fire steel, the sharpener, how well it's made, the grip, everything. It just feels good in the hand. It'll start a fire in case you need it. And uh, it's just super easy to use. And as I said, it, it just... It feels good in the hand. It's It's got a great feel to it. It's got good weight. Um, yeah, just uh, I, I really like their, their knives. So, well done, uh, Morikniv. Well done. And I'm so freaking happy that I finally know how to say it. Um, I felt like such an idiot before. Uh, anywho, yeah, Morikniv. That's the way to say it. Who knew? Well, someone knew. Not me. I'm a dummy. Anywho, if you guys have any questions about the Bushcraft Survival Knife... Um, I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Make sure you leave those down in my comment section down below, and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also, too, please like, please share, and please subscribe. And also make sure you hit that bell icon, because when you do that, you're going to get notified every time I post a new video, which is usually weekly. If you like this review and I built some value in this product for you, and you want to maybe buy one of these, awesome. I'll leave a link down in the description box down below. You can make a purchase. It takes you over to Amazon. Amazon has an awesome return policy in case you don't want it for whatever reason, but I don't think that's going to be the case. And I'm also an Amazon affiliate. So that's how I support my YouTube channel, by those links. So you click on those links, buy whatever you want. I get pennies on the dollar of whatever you spend, and it helps me to produce higher quality content to give back to you. So it's kind of a win-win. Am I paid by Morikaniv? No, I'm not. Full disclaimer. Got this on my own. I'm not paid so keep that in mind. I provide these videos for you guys organically and non-biased. And I tell you if I like something, if I take, and I tell you for sure, if I don't like something, um, more than likely I'm a gearhead, you know, I just, I love stuff. And especially it has to do with backpacking, outdoors, hiking, mountain biking, gear, tech, you know, camera stuff, GoPro stuff. I love all of it. That being the case, Hope you enjoyed my latest video. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor-related hodgepodge, tech and camera reviews, gear talk, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors. We'll see you in the next video.